Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back to my channel. And um, yeah, I always point at my phone to see which end is the camera. <laughs> and I normally land up looking on that side, this side there, where you can see now, instead of looking this way. Anyway, I must just learn it's on the other side of all the little markings. Anyway, so I've mapped out my route for the West Coast with Mom. I'm doing it completely by faith. And... Okay. Um, yeah. So, and then I'm looking to see, I'm googling all the different towns that... Um, look at the heat. Crazy. Sorry guys. Oh well. I don't do that. Anyway, um, I've mapped out all the towns and yeah, and I'm googling just to see what what is of interest in those towns to make sure that when we are in those towns to go around there and go and have a look so I can film it for you guys. Um, yeah, you know some people will think oh it's Going up the west coast to go see the flowers and the fishermen cottages because that's what my mom wants to do. It won't take long. No. <laughs> you don't understand. When I take mom down to our local supermarket, pick and play or spa, um, <laughs> just to go buy bread and milk, for instance, or whatever. But it's just to buy a few things. It takes us, by the time we've left home and get back home, it's taken us the best part of nearly two hours. And I am literally, we stay about seven minutes from the shop. So, we can drive slower with her, so say ten minutes. So ten minutes either way, that's twenty minutes. <laughs> now we're going to be going up the west coast. Guys, it's going to take a while. It's not going to take a few days. It's probably, I've worked out hopefully six nights, seven days. I'll just see how the traveling goes. Um, it may take longer. I've got something in the back of my mind about ten days. So, yeah. And, Uncle, I hope you hold on to that dog because that's one big dog. I remember walking down here and this dog was went for me. But luckily it was on the other side of the fence. It's a massive big Rottweiler. Um, yeah, I've got something about 10 days in, in the back of my mind. So we might be away 10 days. Um, yeah. I'm planning on, on 7 days, 6 nights, 7 days. So yeah, but you know, we'll see. And then I'm just waiting to see how the Lord is going to come through for me because I don't have finances to, <laughs> to get 100 kilometers down the road, let alone up the West Coast, which is a 1,580 round trip. And then, as I said before, I've taken on 2,000 kilometers. Anyway, but all I know is that God will come through for me. Um, Us humans, we always have a plan B and plan C. So, yeah, I don't like plan B or plan C. Yeah, plan A is God will supply. And he will supply in a nice way. In a wonderful way. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And, of course, I've cleaned, I don't know, I kind of spring cleaning my house in the middle of winter. So, um, yeah, I cleaned it, washed floors, dusted, did everything. Cleaned the windowsills and furniture and what have you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm still tired. My uh, mum decided to start cleaning her flat at... Something I can't possibly this morning. 
and living in a timber double story and dry walls. So the moment the broom smacks against the wall, it vibrates right through the house. So I just pray that my brother didn't wake up. He didn't say anything this morning. But mom's bedroom, where she was cleaning, her bedroom's right underneath my bedroom. Mm. So I heard it. Anyway. Um, yeah, so what else has happened? Uh, yeah, I went to look to see about that octopus. Mm. That was a... Um, Something up on top of that roof. I don't know if it's a bird or what. Anyway, that octopus story was um, I'm not too sure that you got because now we're facing this way. I'm not too sure if, if you can see on top of the pitch. Now I can't see what I'm showing you, so I am trusting where the roof goes to a pitch at the top. Um, I don't know if that's a little bird sunbathing or if that's just something else. Anyway, I'll watch it and see if it moves. Uh. Anyway, um, so, yeah, what was I talking about? Uh, the octopus. Yeah, that was photoshopped. What people do for fun. Anyway. This is really... I don't have an Alice brand yet. Or head clips. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, guys. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm sitting outside the doctor's rooms. I brought my... Well, Gail and her daughter, she's, those things that my mom was getting in her arm, this woman's also got. And the difference between the two is my mother will take a pin and she'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig until she gets the thing out. And this woman, yeah, she's a little bit, like we say in Afrikaans, piperach, um, yeah, she's, You just push on it on like it, it's like so. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, what's the right English word for that? Um, not timid. Huh. One of the things of being in South Africa, we've got these... These sayings is in another language. Most of them in Afrikaans. Like piperach, kleinsirach. Um, and aish. Aish. <laughs> That's one of our African words that we often use. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure which language it is, but it's not Zulu. It might be causal city or one of those. <laughs> yeah, e -R, how do you spell it? E R S H. Uh, I basically that means ay 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 ay. What are you doing? Um, yeah. I suppose that's one way of explaining what that word means. Or oh no. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this doctor, he's a, a, a GP, I think. And his wife is a dentist. So, yeah, and they share, they share the, the building. So the wife is on the one side and the doctor is on the other.
Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna. I'm just waffling now. I'm gonna cut it off here. Anyway, lots and lots of love. Bye.